when people hear about flowers, they think it's perfume or essence, or there must be some fragrance, you know, some good smell, and maybe some kind of an elixir or extract. So I wanted to uh, specify for all those who are never heard about any flower remedies, uh, to them I would particularly like to say what the flower remedies are. Internationally, they use the word flower essences, or we can also call them as flower essence remedies. But I will be repeating again and again that there is no perfume. There are so many flowers that has no perfume, fragrance, or essence in it, but they can be made into a flower remedy. Because all that we are doing is taking the healing energy of the flower in the wind. You can also call it as etheric energy, and you can also call it as like bio photons, which are discharged by every living entity, and that is absorbed by water. Water has memory, water remembers, water changes its own form, and that water becomes the flower remedy. So there's a research done in Germany and in Japan, which clearly shows that water remembers what it came in contact with and you can actually find out what was the flower that was put in it through the water droplet technology. So this is uh, something that is very separate. We can discuss some other time, but there is a way. But the most important thing is that flower is having a message and that message is captured by water. And now we call them as liquid energy or the etheric energy of the flower, or I would say the very essence of the flower is in the water. Once again, the flowers are not crushed. We, as far as possible, don't want to cut any flowers. There is a particular glass instrument that we have developed. We just pour water from the top and collect it below and let water absorb the healing energy. There is no material extraction. There are no chemicals. Water remains water, but it has now the memory or the message or the energy of the flower. You will not get any fragrance. And as I said, there is no question of any allergies because you aren't interacting with chemicals over here. In fact, if somebody is actually allergic to a particular flower, the flower remedy is likely to heal that person. It's quite opposite. If you are allergic to, say, um, jasmine, then we actually give the flower remedy, which is made from jasmine, which has the message to heal you. It's quite opposite. Now, the flowers, depending on, you know, if they are small flowers, we take many. If they are big flowers, we just take a few. Uh, there is, it's a very complex process of making the flower remedy. But once it is made, uh, you can store it and keep it for many years. So the flower remedy bottle looks like this. You can see in the picture, it's a glass bottle. I also have it right over here with me. If you want to see, I can show it to you. I hope it's clear. Everybody yes, doctor, can. it is. This is how it is uh, taken uh, orally in the form of drops. You can also apply locally, but this is the standardization of the flower remedy. Now, why it is so beautiful? I have studied so many different systems of healing. I found flowers are the gentle, most gentle. Absolutely no side effects. I can give it to newborn baby. I can give it to a pregnant woman, I can give it to very sick patients also. They are very gentle. There is no aggravation. There is no overwhelming the system. They are very gentle. If you are taking already other therapies like allopathic medicine or homeopathy or uh, say biochemic drugs or acupuncture, any other system, you can continue doing what you do. You add on. Flower remedies are complementary. They are friends with everybody. So you just add on, that adds the benefits. And gradually I help my patients to reduce all other medications. Finally, you don't even need flower remedies. I'll explain you why. Why you don't even need flower remedies because every flower remedy is like a program. 
a proper thought and emotion message, a program. Once it is installed in your body, it's permanent. It remains with you forever. You don't need to keep taking them again and again. It doesn't create any dependency. It's just like something becomes a part of you. The flowers become part of you. We are the microcosm of the macrocosm. And if something is missing in the microcosm, that's my body. I can look into the universe, look various flowers, which flower has confidence program, which flower has something to help me with my depression. You just take that remedy. The situation is completely reversed. You don't need to take it anymore because the flowers become the part of you. Very safe. Again, as I said, for animals, I already gave you the story. In fact, the pet animals respond faster because they don't have complicated mind like us. They're very transparent. Within a few days, you see great results in them. And then I have, because I'm an allopathic doctor, and it has been a 37 years journey now, I have had opportunity to treat all kinds of patients, all kinds, any diagnosis. I would say cold to cancer, allergies, autoimmune disorders, cancers, uh, tumors, or you know, PCOS, all kinds, all kinds of patients. So um, as they came in, I just added flower remedies and gradually helped them you know, become healthy, stop all the other supports, gradually even become independent. So the flower remedies can be used not necessarily only for mind and emotions, but those physical conditions also. As I said, there's no separation. It's just we who separate. They are actually just one unit. So incredible stories I have, and I would love to sh share them with you. Please do, Doctor. I do have a question ready. I would like to ask that, but Doctor, we would love to hear one or two stories. And I want to invite everybody that Doctor has introduced us to flower remedies, and we are going to move on to the lotus. So in between that, if you have any questions till now, please ask, we will take those up. Till then, doctor, please tell us your most memorable, most interesting story, which you would like us to know. Sure, so like many years ago, there was a gentleman uh, in some city of Maharashtra. Actually, it's not city, small town, was regularly ordering lotus flower remedy. And we were wondering why, like, you know, very consistently he kept on, you know, ordering it month after month. And we were really wondering, we never met him. So finally he came to meet us once, his son was staying in Thane. And so he especially made a trip to come and visit us. And I said, How, what are you using it for? Who prescribed it to you? What is the thing? It was a very interesting story that he was suffering from chronic pancreatitis and almost dying. And at that time, somebody just said that there's a doctor in Mumbai who makes lotus flower remedy. Why don't you order that and try it out? And they just ordered because there was no hope left. He started taking them and he was discharged from the hospital. And then it remained very... Uh, deep in his mind that I must take this remedy to remain well. So he kept taking it for many years. And then he came to meet us to share the story. And I think that was maybe 20 years ago. And then so he wrote a beautiful letter saying that. And after that, he has even stopped now. And I have actually lost contact with him. But these impressions are very powerful that a single flower remedy can rescue somebody that I have never met. And just because on such a platform, wherever I must have spoken about the lotus flower, thought worth trying, no harm, just try and give. And this is what happened. And there's a group in another city in Gujarat. They consistently keep ordering lotus flower remedy in like lots of quantity. So I was wondering, uh, what do you do with so many bottles of lotus every month? So oh, we are a group of meditators and we meditate. I said, yeah. And they said, we use lotus very regularly just before meditation. When the session begins, all of us take a few drops of lotus by mouth and then we apply and apply here on the chakra point and then we sit and meditate. And for years and years, like the group was doing this, 
very fascinating, very beautiful experiences. They said that lotus flower helps them to go into deeper states of consciousness very quickly. And you just have a very deep, calm, you know, meditation where you really become that who you are. Fascinating, Dr. From pancreatitis. Pancreatitis. Sorry, I'm so sorry about that. To meditators meditating, I mean, there are such varied uses and there are many more coming up. This is really fascinating, uh, doctor. And the questions have started coming in. Parul has asked that, how does one come to know that which flower remedy is to be used? Correct. So I'm a medical doctor. I've spent 37 years. There are about 2000 different flower remedies from all over the world which are in various stages of research and very many encyclopedias are already published. And uh, uh, each of these different flower remedies, the healing properties are described. There's a proper method of knowing it, which flower will be good for what. So we call it as doctrine of signature. We study the character of that plant. If I make a flower remedy from a flower that is growing in desert area with very little water and yet a beautiful flower comes out, then this plant knows how to survive with strong sun, very little water and hardships of life. When we make a flower remedy from this flower, it will help people who are going through tremendous amount of struggles in life and need inner courage, strength to serve. Or say there is a flower which is growing in water. So then we will help for the diseases where the excess of water needs balance. Or right now is the summertime. I will look for flowers which are going in the summertime. These flowers know how to survive the heat and the sunshine. So if I want to make a remedy to protect myself from sunstroke, I will look what nature is providing. Nature is intelligence. All this is nothing but transferring the nature's intelligence into our own body to flowers. Here people used to meditate on flowers. I know many people even now do. And uh, mother in uh, Pondicherry, Mother Meera meditated on more than 800 flowers and she gave them spiritual names. Because she just meditated, she became one with the flower and asked, what is your message? And then she wrote it down. So ideally, we all should be doing this, living in the company of nature and not in the company of gadgets and <laughs> artificial surroundings. But since we are, we need to introduce this energy of the flower the flowers are like souls of the plant. From there, the new birth happens, recreation. It's the soul of the plant. And when I take the remedy, it is addressing the soul in me. So if you take uh, herbal remedies, they work on the physical level. Allopathic remedies, a lot of physical stuff, a little bit of mind. You take homeopathic, it works maybe mind and emotions. But when you take flower remedies, you are helping your soul directly. Because the soul message of the flower and the soul message in you together. So it goes all the way there. So I tell people, with the flower remedies, you can rewrite your past. You can rewrite your future. You can rewrite your present. Just by taking in this beautiful energy and reorganizing it. Sounds good, Doctor. In fact, I want to thank Parul for asking this question. You very beautifully were able to explain, Doctor, that how flower remedies actually work. So basically, it is about imbibing the flower's energy into us, becoming one with the flower. And because of those properties of flower, we also get those properties and then we heal. Have I understood that right? Absolutely. We are nature, we are not yeah. separate. So that's it. We are made up of the same five elements as nature is. So if something is missing, we just go out, look and take it. 
it's all available in abundance absolutely doctor and there are some questions that have come in doctor and people have actually mentioned some conditions and i'm going to read them out to you and can you tell us what you have to say about all of these medical conditions so nikita has asked about autoimmune thyroid hashimotos ailments and magi has asked that is there any remedy for diabetes and nerve damage and there is some severe uh, nerve damage that has been uh, uh, mentioned and uh, nina has asked about retention of water in full body and weight loss so everybody we will move on into the call and take some of you live on demonstration and dr shah will give you some insights for now doctor what do you have to say to all these kind of serious ailments we all have with us or in our families you know i mean absolutely true you know i am a doctor myself and uh, we label them all these diseases we label them you know very complicated names also so um, for example let's just take uh, arthritis right so uh, arthritis of the joint joints become rigid stiff so our perception is like this that the stiffness in the mind will be stiffness in the body so i will not only just look at the joint with inflammation or degeneration or having you know difficulty pain shouting for help i'll say okay also let's look at the person what's your story do you have such story of not being supported in life having something fear of the unknown i study all this i am looking at the person what's there in the mind and what's in the body and when we select out the remedies for the mind and emotions the body organs automatically respond within minutes i have seen sometimes you take a dose within few minutes the person feels some change so every disease i link it up like that there are every disease i have a profile i do spend some time with the patient the disease does not come just like that we are not victims we are part of the story it's a transparent body transparent mind and emotions everything happens for a reason body does not lie your disease does not lie and honestly your disease is not something that you must attack overcome become strong no it's your friend welcome what can i learn from you for my whatever conditions i had in my life i just learned from it and i overcame i did not fight i said okay let's just find out why are you here where can i learn the flower remedies are helping us to learn these lessons every disease comes here for us to learn a lesson unless we learn the lesson the disease does not go away when you take a painkiller you're going to further damage your joint you learning not learning the lesson i believe in learning and transcending every disease every condition that comes i ask where can i learn what can i learn when you learn then it has no reason to be it will go and this is how i overcame you don't fight depression you don't fight anxiety you don't fight panic attacks you don't fight any of this you don't fight cancer you don't you just say all right i'm not afraid please guide so this is how i help all my patients there are patients who may want to just die actually they just say i am done with life and i want to go so i'm uh, in between the two worlds and i don't know what to do i have all these things my commitments my anxieties my family but i want to go i'm done so we quietly sit pray and say right not a problem let's make your transition peaceful and beautiful because i don't see death as an end it's only again passing on going and 
learning continues. So flower remedies are so beautiful to even assist this transition time. You're not fighting death. You're just being friend with the death. You're making death beautiful. Celebrate. So I've had patients who would just cry. I give them a hug. I said, you want to go? Say, yeah, I don't want to. I said, fine, let's just work with it. I'll help you there as well. I'll hold your hand. I'll make it so beautiful, so peaceful, and peaceful for all around you also, your family, to release you. So there's so many different ways you can help a patient. Lovely, doctor. And I can't think of a better person than you who merges allopathy, the known medicinal aspect, and then to this spiritual, emotional healing. You merge both of them, and then there can be no non-believers. You know, in fact, doctor, there are some testimonials already coming in for you. We have Jotsna on the group, and she has texted that I had met Dr. Rupa Shah at a conference in Pune, and I knew the work she's doing. I recommended her flower remedies to a lady in Pune suffering from PCOS. And within a few months, she was transformed. And Paru says this approach towards illness is very different and really awesome.